Hello friends, welcome. Thanks for joining us. It's Lisa from the Yoho's. This is our first segment, I'm going to call it, in our upcycle videos. Either a thrift or a donation and to re-donate back into the community. This little gem was from my neighbor and we thought we'd give it a fresh look and send it back out again. So now this stain, the second stain, the first one wasn't dark enough. I flipped it over and kind of did a little test sample underneath. I, you have to stir stain really well. That wasn't the problem. I stirred it as good as I could stir it. It's just, it wasn't, um, it was too translucent. How's that? So now this next stain is a gel stain. And let me tell you, if anybody's ever used gel stain, you know what I'm talking about. You can't see through this stuff. This particular one, I think it's Kona is the color that I'm using. It's very dark brown. This honey oak, which is totally, it's a great wood. It's just, I didn't love the color. It was too honey. Now I sanded the heck out of this thing and it wasn't budging. So I knew that there was a lot of, I'm, I'm going to say tannins that would probably come through if I were to paint it. So I knew that I wanted something dark. Now, yeah, I could have just painted it with black paint, but that's not the look I was going for. I also wanted to show you what it was all about using this gel stain. Now, with that being said, I'm kind of excited to try the other gel stains in different colors, like a lighter color. I'm kind of curious. Also too, side note, I only got a small can of this. It goes a long way. Now, of course, what would a video be without a little tip from myself? I would normally, if I were to buy stain, like all the other stains I will buy is going to be in the quart size, not the little pint I think that's what it is the little one try the next size up because it's more bang for your buck and it just lasts forever especially if you're kind of set we have a couple of colors that we kind of teeter between all the time I kind of would just do that that's my go-to colors because I know I'm going to use it regardless on specialty stains like this particular little guy I just wanted to try a small can and this oh, I fell in love with it <laughs> I'm just mixing 
using, I have a crisp white and I have a warm white, more of a cream. So I want to mix them together just a tiny bit, just to warm up the white. I find with the dark stain, it is so dark that I kind of wanted a warmer tone to it. Um, yeah, so yes, that answers the question. Yes, you can paint over stain, but let me tell you that stain needs to be a thousand million percent dry before you do that because otherwise it's a heck of a mess and then you're back to square one you'd have to sand it all Ugh, you know where i'm going here mm -hmm. 